Hello friends, so I welcome you all again. So let's start our preparation. So the first question is, bread and scale is used for assessing the risk for A. Decubitus ulcer, also known as a pressure sore. B. Diabetes mellitus. C. Hypertension. And D. UTI, urinary tract infection. So this is very common question asked many examination. So the right answer is, Decubitus ulcer. Bread and scale is used for assessing the risk for decubitus ulcer. Next question. Example of sesamite bone is A. Patella, B. Ribs, C. Carpal, and D. Sternum. So in our body, there is only one sesamite bone, and that is patella. The best diet for the client with Meniere syndrome is one that is A high in fiber, B, low in sodium, C, low in protein, and D, low in fiber. So first you must know that which syndrome they're asking about. So this syndrome is related with the ear disorder. So it is a disorder related to the endolymph. Okay, so when there is a more endolymph in the ear, so it will lead to the Meniere's disease. And the right answer is low in sodium. So whenever the patient is having Meniere's disease, we have to provide diet that is low in sodium. Next question. Principle used in the closed chest drainage. A. Gravity, positive pressure, suction. B. Gravity, negative pressure, suction. C. Ambulatory and D. Posture. So the three principles are used, that is gravity, negative pressure, and suction. Next question, Sidex is also known as A, glutraldehyde, B, formaldehyde, C, corsolex, and D, hypochlorite. So Sidex is very commonly used chemical for the disinfection. So we all must know this answer, that the right answer is glutraldehyde, which is also known as a Sidex. Next question. Hemlich maneuver involved the following. A. Abdominal thrust. B. Chest compression. C. Jaw thrust. And D. All of the above. So this is also a very common question and it is comes from the first state subject. So the right answer is abdominal thrust. Next question. A positive tuberculin test is indicated by in duration of A. 1 to 3 millimeter in diameter. B, 10 millimeter or more in diameter. C, 7 to 9 millimeter in diameter. And D, 4 to 6 millimeter in diameter. So the tuberculin test is a very important topic for exam purpose. And in a normal person, it is indicated positive if the person is having a induration of 10 millimeter or more in diameter. Next question. One ml of injection pitocin contain A. 5 mg, B. 50 mg, C. 5 international unit and D. Millimeter. You must know that pitocin is also known as oxytocin and it is always given in the international unit. So the right answer is 5 international unit. Next question. Plural effusion is also known as A. Pneumothorax, B. Hemothorax, C. Hydrothorax and D. Spontaneous pneumothorax. So this question is from the respiratory system and plural is basically fluid. So the right answer is hydrothorax. So plural effusion is also known as a hydrothorax. Next question. Deficient salivation is called A. Xerophthalmia, B. Xerostomia, C. Petalism and D, halitosis. So these all words are very important. So you must know the meaning of all these words. So the right answer of this question is xerostomia. Okay, so whenever there is a very less salivation or you say that is no salivation, then this term is used for the deficient salivation that is the xerostomia. So that's all for today. Please like, share and subscribe. And I will bring the more important question so that we all can clear the exam. So thank you very much.